Robert Woodward was one of the greatest synthetic organic chemists ever. He won a Nobel Prize. And uh, many years ago, I watched him do a lecture at an American Chemical Society conference. And believe it or not, he did it on the blackboard. This was way before PowerPoint. And he would draw on the blackboard very neat structures. And I thought I had to learn how to do that because I was teaching organic chemistry. And I did, I, I practiced and uh, you know, I was able to draw nice structures. And there's something else I was able to do with that chalk. Whenever I was getting to a certain point in a class, I would take a bite out of that chalk because it was calcium carbonate. And I would talk about it being an antacid and tell the whole story of hyperacidity, etc. And students really remember that, the crazy professor who ate chalk in class. The only trouble was that my lines on the board were a bit too thin, and I didn't really like it. They didn't, the chalk didn't glide the way Woodward's did. But one day, my daughter, that time she was very little, got a gift of sidewalk chalk. I wasn't keen on her using it, so I said, uh, let me keep it until you get older. And one day I said, gee, you know, let me try that on the board. So I tried it, and it made nice, neat lines. Much thicker, much broader, nicer, nice. See, but it turned out the chalk was calcium sulfate. I couldn't take a bite out of it because it didn't have the antacid quality. So what was I going to do? I went around searching for chalk that I could eat that had calcium carbonate in it. Well, it turned out that they're actually was such a chalk that was produced, and it was produced by the Hagoromo Company, which was a Japanese company. And this was supposed to be the Rolls Royce of chalks. And the company went out of business, unfortunately. And you can go on the internet and still have some remnants of the chalk. They charge outrageous amounts. But now there's another company who made a copy of this chalk. And so I thought I would invest in that. It wasn't quite that expensive. I got a, a, a box of it. Uh, here it is. It was about uh, uh, 50 bucks. And uh, it uh, writes quite nicely. You know, not bad. It gives you kind of uh, uh, thick lines. But it is coated with wax. It's calcium carbonate. I could bite it, but the taste wasn't very good. So I wasn't keen on, on biting it in class. And then, believe it or not, I come across something else. I come across this on the internet. Edible chalk. It's actually marked edible chalk. So I invest in that. And here it is, the edible chalk. It's made of calcium carbonate. I'm not sure exactly how they make this so that it doesn't have the, the waxy coating. And it writes nicely on the board. So I'm happy with that. Plus, I can eat it and I can talk about hyperacidity and how this can neutralize acid in the stomach. And I will have a whole new generation of students who will then grow up and tell their children about the crazy professor they had who ate chalk in class. Mm.